Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be comparing two numbers. So this is a homemade comparison problem where we have four to the power, four to the power, four to the power, four. We have four fours and we're comparing it to two to the power, 10 to the power, 51. So these are very large numbers. I'm going to show you some screenshots from or from alpha to, you know, give you an idea the, about these numbers. They're very, very large. Uh, but at least you'll you'll see uh, what they look like, sort of. And uh, to be able to compare these numbers, I want to have the same base. I have a base of 2 and I have a base of 4. So let's go ahead and work with the first number and change the base. So I'm going to start here because you got to be careful. When I write something like a to the power b to the power c to the power d, this doesn't mean a to the power b to the power c to the power d because this would be a to the power b, c, d. And why would you write it that way if the exponent is b, c, d, right? Obviously. So this means something else. This means that you have to start here and go down. So the exponent is, the first exponent that we're going to deal with is 4 to the 4th power. Okay? So let's start with that. Let me go ahead and erase this and that and circle what? I'm going to simplify first. So 4 to the 4th power can be written as 2 to the 2nd to the 4th. And that is the same thing as 2 to the power 8. So now I'm going to go ahead and replace this with 2 to the 8th. So this gives me 4 to the power, 4 to the power, 2 to the power 8. Now, next, we're going to go ahead and work with a new exponent. And that's going to be this one. Because when 4 is the base, that's going to be the exponent. So let's go ahead and take it out, and then we're going to put it back. 4 to the power 2 to the power 8. Now, I can go ahead and write this 4 as 2 to the second power, and then raise it to the power 2 to the eighth. But this means the exponents are multiplied, because remember the rule, it says a to the power x to the power y can be written as a to the power xy, right? That's the rule. So here we can write this as 2 to the power 2 times 2 to the 8th. But 2 can be written as 2 to the 1st power. So upon multiplication, like a to the x times a to the y, we are supposed to add the exponents. So this becomes 2 to the power 9 in the exponent. Make sense? So 4 to the power 2 to the power 8 is 2 to the power 2 to the power 9. Make sense? Hopefully it does. Now, that is the exponent. So we're basically going to replace the exponent with that. So our number is going to turn into the following. 4 to the power, 2 to the power, 2 to the power 9. Now, we're going to change the last base, which is this 4 right here, and write it as 2 to the second power, and then raise it to the power 2 to the power, 2 to the power 9. Are you following? Hopefully you are. Hopefully I didn't lose you. So now we are going to multiply the outer exponent by the inner exponent because of this same rule, right? So these are the two rules basically what we use so far. So now this can be written as 2 to the power 2 times 2 to the power 2 to the power 9. Be careful about the number of 2's that you're using. Be very careful. Now, this kind of gets a little messier if I hold on to the 2 to the 9. So let's go ahead and replace 2 to the 9th power with what it is. What is 2 to the 9th power? I'm hoping that you already know 2 to the 10th power. It is 1024. That's something I actually memorized a while ago because it actually helps for finding larger powers because notice that we have this block here and 2 and 4 are also powers of 2. So that kind of makes it a little easier to remember. You know, these are some mnemonics that I use. Anyways, so that is 2 to the 10th power. And to find 2 to the 9th power, obviously, you have to divide by 2. And that's going to give you 512. No matter how you do it, you're going to find the value of 2 to the 9th power. Maybe you do know 2 to the 3rd is 8. And then you can kind of cube both sides. No matter what you do, you're going to arrive at 512. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to replace this with 512. So our number is going to turn into the following. 2 to the power 2 times 2 to the power 512. And then this is 2 to the first. I'm going to go ahead and let me make some room here so I can write. And this becomes 2 to the power 2 to the power 513. So our 
first number, which was 4 to the power, 4 to the power, 4 to the power 4. Do you remember? That was the original number that we were trying to compare to 2 to the power 10 to the power 51. It now turns into this number. Nice. So now we can hopefully compare these two numbers because they have the same base. Let's go ahead and do it. So I have 4 to the power, 4 to the power, 4 to the power 4. And that is equal to 2 to the power, 2 to the power 513 from here. Okay? There you go. Now, how am I going to compare these? Notice that the other number is 2 to the power 10 to the power 152. So what does this tell you? We have the same bases, right? They both have the same base 2. So I need to compare the exponents. So I kind of need to compare 2 to the power 513 to two, 10 to the power 152. So how do you compare these two numbers? This number versus 10 to the power 152. Okay? And it's easy because we're going to use the same thing, 2 to the 10th power. How so? Because we have a 2 and a 10 and you know that you can compare those two numbers by using 2 to the 10th as a transition point. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to write 2 to the power 513 and that is obviously greater than 2 to the power 510 because 513 is greater than 510, obviously. And this can be written as 2 to the 10th power to the power 51. So what I did was divided 510 by 10 to get the exponent. But where does the, uh, or why did I get 510? Why did I have to reduce this? Because I need a number that is divisible by 10 to be able to use 2 to the 10th power. Make sense? Now notice that 2 to the 10th power, and I'm going to do it here, is 1024. And that is greater than 1000 which is 2 to the power, I mean, 10 to the power 3, right? So this kind of gives you a really good idea. 2 to the 10th is greater than 10 to the 3rd. Make sense? Okay, so we can safely say that 2 to the 10 to the 51 is greater than 10 to the power 3 to the power 51 because 2 to the 10th power is greater than 10 to the 3rd power. Make sense? Okay, now we have this comparison, but... 10 to the power 3 to the power 51 is just 10 to the power 153 because we're supposed to multiply the exponents. Okay, what am I looking at? I'm trying to compare these two numbers first, right? Remember? So now I got there, almost there. I have 10 to the power 153 and that's definitely greater than 10 to the power 152 because the exponent is, our exponent is bigger. Make sense? This chain of equations and inequalities actually gives us a really good thing. If you connect the first one with the last one, we get 2 to the power 513 is greater than 10 to the power 152. And that's what we were exactly trying to compare. But our numbers are actually different. So we're trying to compare 4 to the power, 4 to the power, 4 to the power 4, which is 2 to the power, 2 to the power 513. But we know that this is greater than 2 to the power, 10 to the power 152 because of this. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. But wait a minute, I didn't show you the Wolfram Alpha. So let's pause and take a look at these beautiful numbers. Okay, first number is a very large number. You see, this is the power 10 representation, but you can see it has this many digits. I'm not saying I'm not saying it's 153 digits. It's 8 times 10 to the power 153. So 8 followed by 153 zeros, that many digits this number has, whereas the other number has a fewer digits because obviously this is the smaller number and you want to put those together like this. Obviously, the top number is larger. And this actually brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.